And see, we all have our own opinions on Thanksgiving and mm -hmm. the best side dishes, but that hot meal isn't guaranteed for everyone. Yeah, on a serious note, KSHB 41's Lenita Brooks takes us back to a familiar barber who's working to change that for more than 100 local families. How you doing? Come on, brother, don't be like a shot now. There you go, baby, yes, sir. Last Thanksgiving, we introduced you to this larger-than-life personality. <laughs> they know what time it is. Fred Dansler, barber and owner of Officially Chopped and Shawnee. He opened his shop in October of 2019, but his vision was always there. I kept telling all my people that I work with, I'm like, man, one day I'm going to get up out of here and I'm going to make a change, I'm going to make a change, and i tell you what, it, uh, it all paid off. And now he pays it forward through Feed KC. For the past six years, as long as officially CHOP has been open, every year he hands out Thanksgiving meals. Not just turkeys, meals. Dressing, mashed potatoes, gravy, corn, green beans, cornbread, milk, eggs, butter, the foil pan, the turkey injectors. Oh, the list goes on, baby. Everything you need to make Thanksgiving dinner. It's an effort between Fred, his barbers, and his stylist all through the barbershop. And so all last week, your money was no good here. If you wanted a haircut, you had to pay for the turkey. We ain't talking no corn and tins. We talking them big birds, you know what I'm saying? Them butter balls. But, uh... <laughs> Sunday, with the help of 27 volunteers, they had Handed out enough food to feed 160 families, a big jump from 15 families in 2019. Beyond the families he feeds, he hopes this inspires more people to come together and show love. And we ain't sitting over here fighting because, like I said, we already got enough stuff in this world that's trying to divide us. But now nah, we got to cut that out. Hey, everybody come together at the end of the day. It's always love, you know what I mean? It's what the season is all about in Kansas City, Lenita Brooks, KSHB 41 News.